RX10 can turn this Oh baby, I'm gonna love you into this Oh baby, I'm gonna love you Let's get straight into it Isotope RX10 just released today and it comes with a slew of new features. The one that I really want to discuss in this video is called the Repair Assistant. You can pull this up here and you may have been able to use this in other versions of RX if you had it, but now you can use it as a plugin. So not only is this in standalone, but you can also use it in Ableton Live, FL Studio, Pro Tools, Studio One, all those things, right? And not only can you use it as a plugin, but you can also have access to it in RX Elements. RX Elements is gonna be the best bang for your buck if you're just getting into audio and need to repair your stuff really quickly. All right, and that's the cheapest version. There are three versions and that's the cheapest one. So with the click of a button, we hit learn audio. We select all of this audio, we hit learn, it's going to pull up a window. Training Repair Assistant. Works fairly qu quickly. This is a short clip. And then we can hit preview. We skip here. Oh, baby, I'm gonna love you. Preview. I'm gonna love you. And we can hear how that background noise basically just evaporates by adding Repair Assistant and letting it do some quick work. Now, Repair Assistant comes with four different modes. So not only can you use this with voice, you can use this with instruments, so musical. You can use this with percussion, and you can use it with sound effects, so Foley and stuff like that. Now, this is compatible as a VST3 device, a AU device, and a AAX device. So you can use this in Logic, FL Studio, Ableton Live, and stuff like that. Now keep in mind, this specific plugin is not available as VST2. However, if your DAW supports VST3, you're good to go. Now just to make sure that I'm not capping in my rapping, I have a second audio clip here that I would like to use. Here's some terrible audio of me in 2020 using maybe a cell phone, or I don't think I was even using a Yeti, but I'm going to play this for you and we're gonna use the repair assistant to see what we can do with it. All right, so this is before. I help a diverse community of people from young to old. This is after. I help a diverse community of people from young to old. Now this still sounds like trash, but the best part is we can change how much we wanna denoise. We can add some more deverb. You can hear the room in the background, so we'll do that. You can get rid of all those gross mouth clicks and stuff that you hear a lot of people having in their podcasts and whatnot, even in rap songs. I've heard some songs that need some serious de-clicking, but we'll keep that at about 20%. We want to hit that de-noise heavily and the de-verb heavily as well. So let's turn that up a bit and see what we get after that. So we selected the audio and we're waiting for it to learn. And now it's done learning so we can preview it. We still have the de-click button on, whoops. All right, let's do it again. I help a diverse community of people from young to old and novice to- So that was a stark difference, a big difference. Compared to this before- I help a diverse community of people- And this after- I help a diverse community of people from young to old. Now, of course, you want to record better, better audio than I did with my cell phone or whatever I used at this point in time, but you get the point. All right, next up, I'm going to do some spectral recovery on some Zoom audio. So sometimes when you hear Zoom podcasts, it sounds like really weird and phasey and stuff like that. So I'm going to take a selection here so you can see what that sounds like once it is repaired, the before and after. So let's take this section here. Address that. Well, you know, I mean, I'm a big believer in, in kind of focusing some key trend areas. So we hit the spectral patching button, made sure that we press the learn so that we could learn our selection. Then we hit compare. So this is what the original audio sounds like. Thinking about buying a car or relocating or whatever it might be. And this is the affected audio. Thinking about buying a car or relocating or whatever it might be. Now that definitely added some more low end to our recording, but it definitely helps add some more character to our voice that was taken away by Zoom. 
let's go to our first example and I'll show you that new adaptive dehumming a feature. Select a piece of audio. Oh baby, I'm gonna love you. Now with the dehum feature, let's open it up. You can just check this adaptive mode box and it will easily give you better quality. This is the original audio. Oh baby, I'm gonna love you. This is the affected audio. Oh baby, I'm gonna love you. And that's without the hum in the background. It worked amazing. Isotope RX has a handful of other features that have released with this new version. That includes the repair assistant that we went over, text navigation, multiple speaker detection, dynamic adaptive mode in D-Hum, which we also went over, upgraded spectral recovery, which we went over with the Zoom example, and the surround reverbs, Stratus and Symphony 3D have been updated, and RX Elements now consists of the brand new Repair Assistant plugin that we went over at the beginning of the video. If you would like to purchase RX10, I will include a link in my description so that you can support my channel at no extra cost to you. If you enjoy my videos, I do hardware reviews as well. I just did one on the Akai Force and I love to read about what y'all think as well. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.